First, sign into Chrome River using your CCRI login credentials. On the left, you'll see three sections with the top one being eWallet. If you have charges to your P-card, it should say the number of items under unused items. In my case, I have six. You can click on it and a new screen with all of the charges will appear on the right hand side. You can add these items to an expense report from here. But for this video, we're going to start from the beginning of the process. On the left, you'll see a section for expenses. Click the plus create button in the upper right hand corner of that section. You'll see an import pre-approval button at the top. You can ignore this as it does not apply to P-Card reconciliation. Next, enter a name for the report. For this report, we'll call it July 2022 P-Card. Next is the Pay Me In section, which defaults to US dollars. You cannot change this. The next two sections are for the start and end date of these expenses. Use the calendar buttons to select the dates. Next is the business purpose. For this example, we'll just put the same thing as the report name. Keep in mind that college purchasing rules still apply, and all purchases must support the mission of the college. Next is the report type. This will affect the following screens, so we'll select P-Card Expenses. Next is Location. For this section, you always put your home campus. I work at the Knight campus, so I'll select Warwick, Rhode Island. Finally, select the fiscal year. In most cases, you'll select the current year, but that can depend on when the expense is processed. Following that, you'll see address and direct deposit. These should already be populated, but double check to make sure they are correct. Once you've verified that everything is accurate, Select Save at the upper right-hand corner of the expense report. Now, a new screen will appear on the right, where you will be able to add the specific transaction to the expense report. For this reconciliation, I will be entering in three items. Before I select each item to add, I need to assign a category to each charge. By selecting the question mark tile to the left of each item, I can choose which type of transaction it is. For this example, I will be choosing postage slash courier for the first one, office supplies for the next one, and technology slash computer supplies for the third one. Now we can check off each item with the boxes to the right and select add to begin adding details to each item of the expense report. The date section will auto fill with the date of the transaction. Next is the amount spent on the transaction. The amount of $18.90 has already been autofilled because we added the item directly into the expense report. You cannot change this. After is the business purpose, which should autofill from the expense report business purpose. Next is the description box that you can use to justify and explain the purchase. This was for a shipping fee for a package. After, we need to decide where the money is coming from, so enter the appropriate FOPLs in the Allocation section. For this transaction, I'll select Unrestricted Operating, Office of the Controller, and Institutional Support Operations. You can add more or less FOPLs depending on the instance, and you can split between FOPLs if needed. Next is the Downloaded Details section, where you can view the expanded details of the transaction that are imported. You cannot edit this section, but please review it for accuracy. Finally, you'll be able to attach all original receipts from the transaction. These are required for the reconciliation, and it will be denied if not provided. When you have verified that everything is correct and that the original receipt is attached, you can select Save in the upper right-hand corner to add the expense to the report. The expense, along with any other expenses, will be added to the left-hand side of the screen. The total that is owed to you will appear at the bottom of that section, but for the P-Card reconciliation, this will remain at $0.00. .00. Next, we're going to add our second expense, 
which is brought up automatically because we already added it to the expense report. You're going to repeat the same process as the first transaction for all other transactions in your report. Over on the right, you'll be able to review each expense added and edit individual ones by selecting Edit in the upper right-hand corner. Since this is for a P card, I need to attach the bank statement that was emailed to me. Click on the report name on the left and scroll down to the Attachments section, where you can attach the bank statement. You can check each individual item and the report itself to make sure you have accurate information. Now that I know everything is correct and that all original receipts with the bank statement are attached, I'll finally select Submit at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up one final screen where you can once again review the information for accuracy. You'll see the total expenses and a collection of all the receipts, invoices, and the statement you attached. Once again, select Submit in the upper right-hand corner to submit the expense report for approval.